Howdy folks, Anthony here with Fountain Pen Sounds. Today we're going to be looking at something a little different. I got a gift from Goulet Pens, and I'll tell you how you can as well. And what that is, is a random ink sample set, which you can sign up for and get during your birthday month. So we'll take a closer look at what we received as a real world example of what you might get, and do ink swabs for each of these using little cotton buds here and a glass dip pen to write out the ink names. So you'll get this code by signing up for the Goulet Pens newsletter, which will give you information on new releases, sales, promotions, etc. And then during your birthday month, you'll get a coupon code for the random ink sample set. And I was able to pick this up as well as utilize the promotion they're running on Yaffa Distributed Pins, which is how I got the Diplomat Magnum that I recently posted in a community post. And it was voted on as the next pen I should do a review on. It's very difficult to photograph and take pictures of and show off the neat feature of this, which is that it color shifts. I have to use very specific lighting. This one shifts from blue to red, but in this lighting, it just looks blue. And I like to give those around a week or two of actual use before I do a review. So that's what I'm working on now. And in the meantime, we'll work on the ink samples that I picked up as part of this order. So I'll start by showing you how I do a swab and then I'll finish them all and use some movie magic to jump towards the end. So we're starting with Monteverde Olivine, just a random one I picked out of the set of eight. And these will come as two mil ink samples in the little sample vials here, which is enough to fill up a converter, but not much else. And maybe have a little extra leftover to do your swab and sample if you wanted to. So I'll start by using the glass dip pen here to write out the ink name. And with glass dip pens, they will write extremely saturated at the start, so I'm actually going to blot this off on a piece of paper towel. Just to take off the extreme amount of ink at the start. I've got some water off camera here to rinse off my dip pen in between ink samples and then I'll dry it off on some paper towels I have set aside. That way I don't cross contaminate the colors. And to do the swab, we're going to use the little cotton swabs here. Dip that down in. Doing multiple passes like that, you get a slight variation between when the cotton swab is overly saturated and after you've used up some of the ink. So it will typically lighten as you go down. So now I'm going to cut and do the rest of these and come back with the completed samples. And our last ink here was the only shimmering ink that I had in the set. As you can see, it's got the little glitter particulates in there that settle to the bottom. If we give it a little shake, you can see those move around. Thank you. 
So with a close-up, you can see the gold glitter in the writing. And you can see some in the swab here, especially at the start. Not so much towards the end. Now with the power of movie magic, we've got all of the ink samples swabbed. And we can take an overview of a real-world example of what you might receive. So overall, in this set, we got a fairly good bang for your buck. Out of the eight samples, we had six different brands and a number of different colors. Really, the only two repeats are brown, but they are significantly different browns. The polar brown is a much more muted, lighter brown, where the walnut is a richer, darker brown. Beyond that, we have the Monte Verde Olivine, which is a olive drab type green. Got the polar brown, which is the lighter brown. The Urban, which is going to be kind of a peachy pink color. Got the Noodler's Walnut, which is that rich brown. Diamine Dark Forest is a dark, almost evergreen pine needle green. Got the Pilot Eroshizuku, which is going to be a lighter, less saturated blue. The Robert Oster Red Candy, which leans slightly pink in the swamp, but in the Writing is fairly red, depending on how saturated it is. And then the Diamine Pink Champagne was our only shimmer ink, and it has a gold shimmer, and of course is quite pink. So out of these, I would probably personally use maybe three or four of them, so about half of the set. The browns aren't my favorite. The walnut is fairly usable though in writing. It's quite dark. At first glance, you wouldn't notice that it was brown. So that one is quite usable. The lighter brown, a little bit too light for my taste in the writing. And the three kind of pink peachy colors are just not colors I would typically use. I like more saturated, darker reds and purples like wine red and kind of a grapey purple as far as colored inks. And then of course, blues and teals and turquoise inks as well is what I typically use. So for a random sample, it definitely gave me inks that I've never used and probably wouldn't pick up, but I also found some that are quite usable and to my taste. So really it's just a luck of the draw, random ink samples and all. So if you're at a loss for where to go, it's definitely a good way to get some bang for your buck because you're not having to buy full ink bottles for each of these. You're getting a two mil ink sample and a little ink vial. And if you use the newsletter coupon code for your birthday, you can get the set for free and you just end up paying shipping. And you can, of course, add it on to anything else you want to buy, which is what I did and took advantage of the sale and promotion they were doing on the Yaffa distributed pins and got the Diplomat Magnum and a bottle of free ink, which was the promotion. I definitely recommend signing up for that if you don't mind getting a handful of emails every now and then, which let you know of new products and promotions that Goulet Pins is running.